Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Three Uniques. I'm Brenda Rigney, and I'm really excited to introduce you to Pam Ross. Hi, Pam. How are you doing today? Hi, Brenda. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. So Pam is a consultant and a speaker out of Toronto, Ontario. She's also a culture catalyst. So what does that mean, Pam? Yeah, so we are, my company, Blue Rebel Works, we believe that work can be awesome. And so as a catalyst, we're really passionate about bringing in new ideas, helping leaders change their behaviors to really reinvent work. So we're kind of shaking up uh, traditional work models and traditional command and control leadership and helping people um, to develop their team so that everyone can reach their potential and make work awesome. Sounds fantastic and so yeah. needed right now. I know, like we, we spend a lot of time at work and now working remotely a lot of us through um, the pandemic and everything, there's lots of ways we can make work better, um, how we connect online. There's just, yeah, there's so much, the amount of empathy we're showing for people and compassion as everyone's going through difficult things. So all of that stuff helps to make work better. Amazing. So you're here today to share your three uniques with us. Yes. What a fun process this was coming up with what they might be. Yeah. Thank you. Here. So share, share away. Okay. I think my three uniques are, I am an explorer, um, a genuine exuberance, uh, really like optimistic energy and creativity. Amazing. Thank you. Okay. Let's go up to the top and let's hear about explorer. Sure. Explorer. So I am just innately curious about everything. So whether it's traveling, I'm happy to get lost, exploring a new place and finding things that I never would have come across. Um, in work, that means I'm continuously learning, like to almost to a detriment. <laughs> like I, I could, I wish that my entire work could just be learning because I love reading and asking people questions and learning about what they do and what they love and what, like what their potential is. So just, I'm really, really curious and love exploring new things. So. Awesome. I'm, uh, I'm definitely an explorer too. So that's what we have in common. Yeah. Uh, your second unique. Yes, that was around the sort of exuberance. I don't know what to call it, but I often get people saying like my energy is contagious or I help them see things more optimistically. Um, I just tend to have a lot of energy when I'm with people. Um, which is a weird thing because I'm also very introverted. So I love spending time with people and I bring a lot of energy into those discussions. And then I need like quiet time by myself after that, me and my dog. So, but I love bringing tons of, you know, really optimism and exuberance to everything. Well, your body and mind probably need that restoring period, right? If you're giving so much out, you need to like give some things back true. to you. Yeah. True, true. Yeah. And your third unique? And the third one is around creativity. So this is all about unconventional ideas. Um, they're probably linked. I'm, you know, my curiosity helps me with creativity, uh, bringing new ideas, uh, trying new things. Most recently, especially during a kind of lockdown during the pandemic, my creativity started to come through in visual ways. So I've been painting and exploring kind of visual art. But for the most part, I use creativity a lot in my work because I'm looking for connecting what that person or that company needs to kind of catalyze their, their culture. And it's always unique and different. So I'm always bringing a creative idea, unconventional kind of new things to try, um, wanting to trial and test and, and create all the time. Amazing. I'm focused on your, well, I'm looking at you, but I'm also focused on your unicorn on your back shelf. Oh. <laughs> when you're saying all these things about being an explorer and just your exuberance and being creative, I just think that's where that unicorn is like a good symbol for you for that. Yeah. I mean, I think everyone has a unicorn, right? We are, and that's why I love this work that you're doing around the three uniques because everyone has something that makes them special and it's like figuring out what kind of unicorn you are. 
So like, I don't know, am I the kind that rainbow is coming out my butt or like what kind of rainbow am, what kind of unicorn am I? But uh, yeah, hopefully I'm the one with the rainbow coming out my butt. Very cool. <laughs> and, we were, and we were talking earlier about like, um, you were, you know, you said it was a little bit challenging or a little bit difficult to come up with your three uniques. Uh, yes. So what was kind of the process that you took that you could maybe share with other people that could help them out? Yeah, it's a good question. So, I mean, my brain thinks in post-it notes. So my process was a whole ton of post-it notes all over with all different um, ideas and things that I've heard from clients over the years, what they appreciate. Um, I even asked, uh, I asked my dad this morning, what makes me unique? And he said, altruism, which was interesting. And I think that's actually, because one of the things that came up was I just really, really am passionate about making a positive difference to people. And I think that's the value that drives these unique sort of behaviors and things that I do. So I ended up with uh, way more than three and then started kind of bucketing them into like, what's a belief under this or a value? What's a behavior and what's an outcome? So I... I came up with, you know, kind of the value that the core value that drives all of this is the really, really overwhelming desire to make a positive difference for people. Um, and that causes me to be really curious about them and find out about them and what could help them, um, how to support them best. Um, it causes me to bring that positive energy. You know, when you're in a conversation, there's some people who are like energy vampires and some people are bringing energy. I just always want to be someone who can leave someone feeling better after our conversation, feeling more uplifted. Um, so, so that again, making positive difference drives that. And then the same with the creativity, it's like new ideas for them to help make a positive difference. And then I think all, the one, the other thing that came up for me when I was brainstorming my three uniques was around connection. Cause I really love connecting with people, connecting people with other people, connecting ideas for people. Um, but again, I think that's an outcome of all of those three uniques. So it's kind of a, it, yeah, it was quite a process to come up with them. And the other interesting thing yeah. I found about the three uniques is your greatest strengths are also sometimes limitations, right? So as I looked at my three uniques, like sometimes my exploring gets me into trouble because I'm focusing on the next new thing instead of really trying to keep things like stable or, or um, stat, like keep things, maintain things for my team. So I can drive people crazy with like new ideas and new learning and sharing a lot of, a lot of information. Um, so it's really they make me unique and it's important to figure out when are these really strengths? When do I have to curb my enthusiasm so that I'm really like calming myself to listen or to, you know, um, yeah, just some people I can be a little bit too much sometimes. <laughs> I always say to people though, it's kind of like planting a garden. Like you don't know what the garden's going to look like. If you just have like this open bed and you don't know what it's going to look like, I always kind of like stuff it with a lot of plants. You can always prune them back year over year, take things out, remastermind it. When I used to plant gardens, but that was sort of my sort of premise to it was like, okay, you know, I've got this open plot. I'm just going to load it up with perennials and annuals and just see what, how it all matches the colors, the height, you know, the depth, whatever. And then as things started to expand and like that lavender plant went crazy, like I could prune it back, I could take it out, I could move it around. And I think that's the key thing that I would say to people is like, identify what your three uniques are and kind of just double down on it because this is the stuff that drives you. And when you have those you know, down days or dark days, it's like, that's what's going to pull you out or your three uniques. You can always apply things that you're talking about, like emotional intelligence techniques, like listening, paraphrasing, slowing down, meditation, you know, to make sure that you're being mindful or thoughtful about how you operate. But, you know, go for the gusto, right? I think there's so many people this year, especially that have been kind of thrown a curveball. And this is the time to really hone in on like what you love to do, what you're passionate about. And then, see how it evolves, right? And if it bothers some people, I'm also kind of in the mindset like, so what, right? They're like, not my people. They're not yeah. your people. I've learned and, that. Yeah, like you need to be unique to yourself. And like, we're all conforming and we become very plastic and uniform and everything looks great on Instagram. But meanwhile, like our world is imploding. It's like, like just, just be you. 
and you'll yeah. find your other use. You'll other yeah. find, you know, the people that really gel with what you're putting out there. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I love so much of what you just said, because it really is like, um, when I'm playing to those qualities, like really learning, really being creative, um, bringing that optimism to conversations, I really feel at my best. It gives me energy. Um, and I love, and, and, uh, and practicing emotional intelligence and mindfulness has really helped me to become aware of those, of those uniques as well. So yeah, that's really, really great. Amazing. And so what's something that you're reading right now, or you're listening to like a podcast mm -hmm. or a vlog, or maybe something on Netflix that you're, you know, you're, you're getting inspired by that's helping to drive all those three uniques for yourself. Yeah, I am. I am almost through Jim Quick's book, Limitless which I love. Um, I listen to his podcast as well. Um, now I'm forgetting what it's called, but really he is talking about how your brain is limitless. There, like there is so much neuroplasticity and all the different things that you can do to train your brain. So he's famous for, um, you know, teaching, helping actors remember their lines and things like that. But um, so memory techniques, speed reading, all kinds of different things that I'm learning um, in his book. So it really is aligned with my thought. Like I think that no one is not um, adaptable. Like we can all learn, we can all grow. So I love that book right now. Um, podcasts, oh my goodness, I listen to so many. I do, I love Brave New Work which is um, by uh, the people at The Ready. So okay. they are really aligned with my work around reinventing work and looking at you know, self, more self-managed models and that sort of thing. And their podcast is super practical. Love that one. Um, what else? On Netflix. <laughs> so on Netflix, I am totally uh, like vampire, zombie, whatever. I watch everything like escapism, whatever kind of stuff. Um, so, oh, and right now I'm watching Teenage Bounty Hunters on Netflix. <laughs> Hilarious. Like it is one of the funniest shows I've seen in a long time. <laughs> is it a reality show or? No, no, it's a, yeah, it's just a funny kind of comedy dramedy okay comedy. yeah okay dramedy. <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right cool so, um yeah. and skill testing question so toilet paper over or under always over okay yeah always thank you high five i will fix it in your house <laughs> <laughs> as i do this three weeks i ask people that question and it's like i'm doing a little bit of a like underground survey I yeah. think there's only been one person that says under or they don't care. And I'm like, how can you not care? Oh my goodness. No, I care about things like that. <laughs> the important <laughs> things. I knew there was a reason why we needed to connect to do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pam, thank you so much for being on today. I really appreciate you sharing your three uniques with everybody. It was fabulous hearing also how you came up with your three uniques. And I think, you know, for everyone listening and watching, there's some really great gems in there. So apply that to how you're also thinking about your three uniques. Get on video write content, get on social media, TikTok's a fabulous <laughs> avenue. Uh, get out there and really share what's going on with yourself. Thanks yeah. again, Pam, for being on. Thank you, Brenda, for doing this. Take care. You too.